so accordingly we will plan so let me introduce my team uh, i request dr suruchika and uh, shyam uh, please uh, turn on your camera for a minute uh, so these two are the teaching assistants of this course uh, they have been putting in lot of effort in answering your queries in placing your assignments dr suruchika gupta uh, she is uh, currently a professor in computer science engineering at chandigarh university prior to that she completed her post doctoral studies at iit guwahati in mysore research group uh, for, from 2020 to 22 and she works broadly in the area of system security and she is an alumnus of svnit surat for her doctoral studies uh, so ruchika is generally answering your queries that you have posted in the forum and uh, so welcome ruchika then over to you next is shyam shankar uh, shyam is uh, the phd scholar in my so research group at iit guwahati uh, he also works in the area of multi core computer architecture security uh, shyam is an assistant professor at nss college of engineering palakkad in kerala and he is also deputation to do phd under the quality improvement program of all india council of technical education and shyam is also uh, one of the prestigious uh, recipient of uh, prime minister's research fellowship one among the 18 members in computer science that has been chosen in this december cycle so the services of both shyam and truchika would be available throughout this course and they will be interacting through over uh, the platform the portal and the shyam is taking care of uh, posting all the important announcements in the group as well as preparation of uh, the detailed solutions of the assignment sheets uh, so over to you truchika and shyam for uh, Give one or two words if you wanted to add before Atul joins. So Ruchika first. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for the introduction. And I welcome all the participants who have joined uh, this course. Uh, this course not only gives you the you know the basic understanding of the subject, but also uh, by the end, uh, at the end of the this uh, uh, lectures, you will get to know the research trends. And so please stay uh, connected with that. And uh, what the changes uh, we uh, just discussed that. Uh, the uh, discussion forum what the questions we are receiving we are going to answer to reply to all so that even if you have not posted any questions then also you will able to see the thread where different questions have been asked and we have answered accordingly so that will not only help you to understand the concept will also will tell you what is what other type of questions that is been popping around in uh, other candidates mind so um, i would suggest you to take this uh, lecture very seriously and um, i hope this journey will be very learning experience for you and uh, maybe by the time you will complete it we will have a good bunch of students to work with us uh, further in the future times so thank you so much and all the best for joining this course over to you shyam thank you ma'am thank you sir uh, this uh, course is going to be a great you know one to understand to know about multi core architecture and uh, of course all will definitely get benefited if you wanted to have a great career research career especially in this area computer architecture and uh, i welcome personally each and every one of you to learn this you know this course have a great wonderful learning experience with this course thank you thank you all over to you sir Okay, thank you, Shyam. Uh, since say, we have only eight participants, and out of them three are there, other one is Vedu Kopal. Um, uh, we will have uh, a quick session so that each of you can then introduce. If you wish, uh, we could also see you. Uh, if you can open up the camera, and uh, when the number of participants are more, we could not do so. Over to you, to Vedu Kopal, to quickly introduce our. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am, and good evening, uh, Shyam sir as well. Thank you so much for all your contributions. Really wonderful. Although, as you know, I've been in the industry for last almost 20 plus years. But uh, as years go by, as you know, uh, for me, I have a lot of passion towards learning and trying to keep myself abreast. And thanks to Professor John Jones, I think the course content has been wonderful. Uh, I, whenever I find time, I try to go back and not only now this lectures, I go onto your YouTube sessions and try to look at some of them as well, sir. Very useful. Thank you so much for all your, the team's contribution as well. And uh, yeah, one thing which I would tell all the people who are fresh students here, uh, don't give up. I think it's uh, more importantly, as uh, sir has told, even in the past, it's not. Just the marks or, or grades or anything. It's more important the journey, the amount of uh, learning and the and the pleasure in learning and the 
I think that's what the fire should be there, the pressure and learning. That's what uh, keeps all us, all of us going. I think continue to do that. So, but I think so much of wonderful research going on this field, particularly. Uh, I think this is a very exciting topic, as Sarah has mentioned. Uh, the um, uh, uh, like um, uh, interconnects and uh, knocks is a special area where I think a lot of work is going on. I think particularly as processes have almost hit a wall where we don't make uh, the improvements is in the area of memory and uh, uh, interconnects and so on. Certainly, I think a lot of opportunity for all of us. Please do learn as much as you can and try to contribute. Thank you so much, sir. So over to you, the participants. Uh, thank you, Venukopal. Monoji Chaudhary, would you like to give a quick self-introduction? Where are you? What are you studying? Please open up the mic and then speak. Mic and camera if you wish to. He has left. The moment I called the name, I think he has left. <laughs> so, Lijo Pijos, so Lijo, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, everybody. I am Lijo here. Uh, uh, I'll be uh, switching on my mic also. Sorry, my camera also. I hope I'm visible. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, good evening all. Uh, I'm Lijo Pijos. Uh, uh, it's my first time applying for uh, NPTEL session. Uh, the uh, And I have applied for uh, the multi-course because my uh, present work uh, revolves around making IP course for uh, some industries, uh, some particular industries. So I thought this uh, course will be beneficial in, uh, t it's been five years since I have done my uh, B.Tech. I have not done my master's, but uh, I did have a specialized course in my uh, bachelor's from uh, IAST Trivandrum. So at that time, we did have a, a multi-core course, specialized uh, course from there. So I wanted to brush up my knowledge on, on that and then uh, uh, hoping that it will help me uh, improve and then uh, look uh, like have some more clarity for my uh, future. That that was that was the main reason I opted for this course. Uh, where are you working now? Uh, as such, I'm working in uh, ISRO, URC here in Bangalore. Okay, Bangalore, ISRO. Okay, great. Good. Uh, thank you, Lijo. Okay. O over to you, the Nandan, KRS Nandan. Would you like to speak? Hello, sir. Uh, yes, Nandan. Hello, everybody. I am Nandan, uh, like, I'm working as a software engineer at, at uh, Accenture. Uh, okay. Like, I graduated last year from aerospace engineering. Uh, like, my stream of, my study was in aerospace engineering. Like, uh, recent days, I have been, uh, like, I was, like, uh, how to say this? I was excited by this, uh, like, computer architecture. So, like, I have taken course, uh, like, taken this course as a, like, a uh, starting point to to make a shift towards the system side. Okay, so good to know that. So you shifted from aerospace, now you are working in, uh, working as a software engineer. Good to hear that, and then I hope that we could do justice to your expectation that has been set. Thank, Thank you for that. Okay. Thank you. Sachana? Uh, hello, sir. I'm Sahana from JSS Academy of Technical Education. I'm doing my third year engineering. So I was initiated to this course by my project guide, Dr. Tejaswini P, who is your student also. So uh, because I'm doing a project currently right now based on the computer architecture, so uh, she was the one who initiated me and uh, I'm doing pretty well. I'm understanding the way you're teaching. So I'm liking this course a lot. So. Okay, fine. Okay, so you are from electronics engineering background. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Sahana. Over to you, Chetan. Chetan Raj, can you uh, please give a quick introduction about you? And Chetan Raj, would you like to speak up? Your mic is muted. Okay, I think some problem. So, uh, I am here just going to brief about how to approach this course. So, some of you are first time takers of NPTEL course like what Lijo already mentioned. 
so every week uh, on monday you will get uh, the videos of the live so already the two weeks uh, video is going on next monday the third week we go we are going little deeper into the cash memory so two to two and a half hours video third week we have only one video coming up and one jump five related assignments uh, so what is more important is go through the videos thoroughly and some of the textbooks are already been mentioned at the end of the slides and at the beginning of the first lecture you could go through it and uh, some very simple assignments are being put at every week where you get closely 10 days of time to solve it and once the deadline for the assignment is over you uh, you could see the detailed solution how it is being solved at all so uh, things are very simple the 10 questions of the assignment of uh, 7 to 8 of them are pretty very forward simple probably going through the video and trying to understand it will be much helpful one or two questions will be little of higher order level thinking but our experience is that students and the learners really enjoying these kind of assignments so those who are very serious about it i request you to apply for the final exam also to register for exam you will get notifications from nptel up to august 19 is what i understand that uh, we can register for the exam you will get an exam center the date of the exam everything is prefixed exam center <coughs> excuse me you will get in the uh, same city or the most preferred city near to you and uh, there are some tutorials or numerical problem solving sessions that is also planned along with this sorry there was an issue okay so go through this uh, numerical problem solving sessions also which will give you a better understanding about how these concepts are been solved because this architecture is a design level subject especially on week 2 onwards you can see that some of the assignments are having some numerical questions so what generally lacks in a computer organization course in many of the universities is it is considered as a theory subject whereas we are giving more emphasis to the practical aspect and the tutorial and the design aspect so uh, feel free to go through this and if you have any queries kindly post it in the discussion forums so going through the videos solving the assignments posting queries in the discussion forum is the best way to learn don't pile up things towards the end if you are not looking for writing an exam but still make sure that because every week lecture is continuation of the previous week so all together we have 20 lectures and uh, we have formally signed a memorandum of understanding with center for development of advanced computing cdac which is a scientific r&d lab coming under ministry of electronics and it and uh, uh, i hope you are knowing about the indigenous india microprocessor program where two three microprocessors are in the early stage of manufacturing which is completely developed in india india's own indigenous processor one is the shakti microprocessor from the iit madras team second one is the vega microprocessor by the cdac trivandrum so cdac trivandrum already has agreed or shown the interest in collaborating with us because some of these course concepts what we are talk, teaching they are using it as a training material for their interns for their fresh engineers and cdac has agreed that the toppers of uh, this course will will get the vega processor free and its development kit so that you can work with them and the promise some internship also uh, for a period of 3 months to 6 months if you wish to uh, at the cdac provider so they have agreed that then down the line we are going to add one or two more special videos because uh, to understand about what you learn in the theory concept to what it takes to to, to design a microprocessor completely indigenous we will take you through the flow of that and i have already invited some of the senior scientists of these are also to interact with you in one of, in one of the live sessions probably the third or fourth live session so it would be a good experience and then if needed we could arrange some workshop for you in the online fashion just to understand about vega microprocessors so in another one or two years down the line we have a good presence of vega microprocessors in our market so that's about this scope and we generally get request from uh, from intel from qualcomm Uh, from amd from nvidia and sometimes from ibm also whether anyone uh, is there who has really scored well in these uh, courses uh, to consider joining these companies uh, for their career plans or for internships so having a good background in this course and having a good certification at the end 
will obviously help you in entering into uh, these uh, premier companies and getting them an exposure, first hand exposure to the microprocessor development programs. Now, coming for the exams, the final exam is for three hours, it will cover up all the eight weeks course. And it is a completely uh, objective type exam which consists of uh, mostly multiple choice question, multi select question, a uh, little bit of max the following, and writing some numerical answers. Uh, so, out of the 100 mark in the final exam, 25 come from your weekly assignments. So, weekly assignment, there is no proctoring. You can go through the videos, textbook, and then you can answer. So, you have 10 days of time. So, you can easily score more than 20 out of 25 in these weekly assignments and uh, for the benefit of the participants out of the eight assignments we have one assignment per week we take only the best six so even if you are a little weak in any of uh, uh, the assignments we take only the best six for your advantage and 75 mark is for the final exam and the 50 percent of the final exam you will get it directly from the assignments or little modification of the assignment questions so even if you could not uh, score all the answers in the assignment, once the detailed solution is being posted, go through it. And uh, if you get the same question again as a repeat, or with mild changes on the final exam, you should not be missing it. So that's what I wanted to tell about the examination and uh, the assignments. I don't know whether enrollment is still open. If any of your friends wanted to join, uh, please do uh, join the program if enrollment is open. Sure. Is enrollment still open or they have closed the enrollment? I think by 1st of August they might have closed. It's closed, okay. Yes. So we can't add up anymore. And when is the deadline for the first week assignment? A1 is over or what? No, sir. For A1 and A2, 10th August is the deadline. Okay. So we have up to next Wednesday, if I am not wrong, right? So generally, Wednesdays are, are the deadline. So first week and second week, by 10th to Wednesday, you have deadline. Go through the lecture videos and try to score the marks. So sometimes when you are a, you know, a learner who don't look for any exams, but just to attend the lecture, sometimes the seriousness may go. So ultimately, it is good. The last time also, rather than uh, from from the college students, it is uh, people who participated from the industries. They have got really very good marks. It is good for them. It's good for us also that uh, some of these industry folks are really looking forward to learning this course. And for students, those who are toppers, uh, we will give you a special chance to have an internship at IIT Guwahati and work with our research group and looking uh, forward for job positions. And uh, this is what I wanted to tell you openly at this point. And uh, if at all there is any specific query from any one of you, I will be happy to address. So we have... Uh, uh, so, Ajago, who just joined, so, Ajago, you would like to uh, give a brief introduction about it. Ajago gave the intro. You can speak up if you want. From where are you and then what are you doing? Uh, sir, good afternoon, sir. I am Anagishan. Yeah. yeah. You would like to turn on your camera, it will be good. Because all of them, when they were speaking, they were turning on camera, I leave it to you. So that I can also see, see people. Yes, yes. Sir, good afternoon. I am Anagishan from KSR College of Engineering. Yes. Uh, so I have attended the last week uh, due to some problems, so not attend the class. Then uh, this week I attend the class multi core and multi architecture and NPT okay. also. Okay. You are a faculty member there? Yes, or sir, a I am the faculty member. Okay. Which department? Uh, CSE department, sir. CSE department. Good. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Are you teaching this course as computer architecture or something? Some course there. What was the motive behind taking this course? Uh, sir, uh, I am teaching a computer architecture course the last semester and then uh, this semester uh, handling the cloud computing architecture. Okay, fine, good. So okay, then only uh, the, this course will be chosen. Okay, that is good. Okay. You are from which college? KSR. Sir, KSR College of Engineering, Trishangur. Okay, okay. KSR College of Trishangur. Okay, great. Yes, sir. Good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so please continue watching the videos every week. On Monday, you will get it. You try to complete the assignment also. First week and second week assignment is due by 10th of August. Thereafter, every Wednesday is the due week of the assignment. Okay, so, what will I will post the assignment, sir? Yeah, you post the assignment and then if at all there is any query, use the discussion forum. Okay, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Sir. So, Abrar Saik, would you like to, to introduce yourself? 
You can unmute and speak if you want. Abrar Sheikh. Uh, yeah, hi. Good evening. Okay. You would like to turn on the camera? Uh, sorry, I can't. Uh, I have a limited bandwidth. So. Yeah, no problem, no problem. You can speak from where are you, your background and uh, what are you for attending this course? Yeah, so I am from Mumbai. Uh, so con currently I am working in the Bosch as a automotive embedded software engineer. Okay, great. So my motive of uh, choosing this course to like increase my knowledge of computer architecture. Uh, so uh, my mainly interests are uh, towards the uh, hardware acceleration uh, and uh, digital design. So that uh, for that purpose, like, I want to improve my knowledge of the architecture. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this course. And maybe like, uh, and uh, I have a few questions. Uh, like, please ask. Yeah, so my question is that, like, there is a many frameworks, uh, apart from the open MBL I, I heard, uh, which used for the multi, uh, exp exploit the colorism in the our CPUs. Uh, like, like that, uh, what are the uh, opportunities, like frameworks like OpenCL and SQL? Can you mm -hmm. give some points and can you guide uh, in this? No, see, these are all frameworks that is used from the application perspective. What we deal in this course is completely on the hardware. So in the hardware, in order for these kind of OpenCL and CUDA or these kind of architectures uh, in order to do, the hardware should have enough resources such, can, such that it can uh, have enough parallelism that is to execute multiple functional units, multiple so register set, multiple uh, pipeline path and all. So all the architectures that we are so discussing here and towards the end, we have tiled chip multi-core architectures. These deal with uh, uh, how can you work when multiple parallel applications need to run. So what you compare with OpenCL and all, they are not in the context of hardware. This is a framework that is used whenever the underlying hardware supports parallelism and multi-threading. So am I able to answer your question, Abra? Yeah, yeah, I got the point. Yeah. So my uh, the doubt is like, uh, uh, how like, like what should be the my uh, like uh, to go forward using this hardware design and uh, further expand my scope in the hardware software code designs. Okay, so that's a very good question. So people generally feel that uh, yeah. When you have uh, parallel applications, many applications, the hardware will uh, do things parallelly with the help of an OS. Unless the underlying hardware don't have enough resources to support parallelism, like terminologies like hyper-threading, multi-threading at all, ultimately OS cannot do anything. So if you are from a programmer perspective, from an application programmer, you should know that if at all your hardware is like this, then what kind of optimization is really possible? from an OS perspective, from an embedded device driver perspective, understanding the hardware and then optimizing how can you exchange data and control information from the software into the corresponding hardware. So if that is not the case, if you are writing programs which are ignorant of uh, hardware, then you may not be able to achieve efficiency when it comes to huge programs. So it is like exchanging the best part of each one of them together and try to work it together. That will give you the efficiency. So that's what you are telling when you both the software and the hardware has been both designed under the same roof. So there is enough kind of coordination and communication that happens rather than having a phone manufactured by someone and later you are going to install an operating system separately. So that is sometimes the efficiency that comes from this but every company may not be able to afford to have a hardware unit as well as an application development unit. That is one such good model. The other way what we do is, like we can say that when you buy a new laptop, we will tell that Intel recommends this particular operating system, this version of operating system. It's based upon a business agreement between them that the internal architecture knowledge is being shared such that the software can be written on top of this. So Abrar, as we move further, you will be able to grasp more things on this. When, when the cache memory topics are fully been covered and once you enter to the multi-core processors. Okay. 
Okay, so I once again remind all of you, uh, uh, kindly go through the videos on a weekly basis itself, don't uh, push it to the end, so there will be too much of videos that has been coming, and uh, try to attend the assignment before the deadline. Okay, so we have a uh, uh, message from Chetan, I am from Kolkata pursuing MCA, looking for this course. Mentorship classes, material such as one thing to extend this course to 12 weeks, adding some more content. Yes, Chetan, we look forward for it. Like, uh, I will explore this option to add a couple more uh, lectures so that to make it as a 12 weeks course. I have already given the proposal. Once the approval comes, I will start recording this. Probably in subsequent editions, we may have 12 weeks program. Thanks, Chetan, for the input and then wishing you all the best for the course. So, if there is no other specific query, Sahana, you have any other query? Have you gone through this course? First two weeks video? Yes, sir. I am going through, but currently I'm, my exams are going on, so I am a bit slow, I am a bit behind, so I am going through it. Okay. Make sure you submit the assignments. There are also negative marks for assignments. So, you can uh, try to this questions. You have four more days to complete. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, Ruchika and Shyam, did I miss anything? Is there any, something that I need to address today? Sorry. Uh -huh. Sir, there are some issue. Uh, sir, there are a few queries regarding Gem5. So, I am, uh, you know, I am uh, contacting that student and uh, just be patient. I was just want to tell you that be patient. We are working on it and we'll definitely reach out to them because this is something we cannot discuss uh, over this platform. Yeah, yeah, fine. That's good. So, to all uh, participants, this GEM5, uh, this is a tool, it is a simulator that we are teaching along with this uh, course. So, we, but we are not including GEM5 as part of the assignments and as part of the final exam because you know, everyone may not be able to install it and then work if you are not comfortable with the Linux platform. Since we are having a heterogeneous audience and some of them may not be from engineering platform. So, we thought that it is as a learning, we will give you tutorials and videos of GEM5. Probably we will post one or two assignments of GEM5 such that you can pick it up and do. And uh, uh, this is only for learning purpose, it won't be there for the exam. So, those who are not comfortable with working with programming tools like this, it's completely fine, it is not going to affect your marks. For those who are looking for little higher level learning, I request you to install GEM5 and if you face any problem, uh, uh, so our teaching assistants would be able to help you. Anything else, Zuruchika? That's it, sir. Okay, fine. Shia, did I good to know? So, someone has uh, seen you, Thiruchika, during ISCA for a film presentation conclave. So, people have seen you before. Good. Yes, Shyam? There's nothing, sir. Sir, one participant joined now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sujita Jayanti. Yes, Sujita Jayanti, would you like to introduce yourself? Since we have only very few participants today, we were giving a chance for everyone to speak. Would you like to unmute and speak? What is your background? From where are you? What is your expectation about the course? Uh, hello, sir. I'm Swajita. Uh, I'm from Bangalore, sir. I'm, right now, I'm doing my MTEC second year in Amrita, Bangalore. Okay. Uh, and uh, doing my internship in Synopsis, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm, I'm just like curious to learn about uh, DRAM architecture. As of, uh, I've done a project on DRAM, but then I couldn't really get the hang of it. So... I'm looking forward to learn this from here. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So I just week five of this course will have a DRAM content, week five. And uh, yes. this GEM5 simulator that has been taught along with this course, uh, uh, you will be able to, to integrate NV sim and DRAM sim to it uh, such that you can have some main memory learning experience. Yes, yes. Uh, 
when i tried to uh, design the dram i tried to design the refresh uh, refresh point there like we refresh the uh, memory right sir for the dram but then i yes. couldn't get the hang how to do it like how it actually works so that uh, i actually went through many materials but then i couldn't get the hang of it so i want okay. to learn that from so you are never only to find out how the refreshing of dram works so nothing more <laughs> uh sorry that sir i kind of like to uh, listen to lectures like that so i i am here that's it did you start going through the lectures yes sir i started to the first five lectures okay yes okay. okay try to submit the assignments which are due by this 10th yeah. the week 1 and week 2 assignments really? so if at all at the end you want to take certification this assignment marks also count yes sir i will do it yes sir yeah yeah and uh, most of the assignments would be repeated in the final exam at least 50% of them so having a good grip on assignments even if after the deadline if you look at the detailed solution that is being posted by my team uh, you will be able to solve it well yes ben ravin you would like to ask anything sham has already posted in the chat window so anything more sujita uh, no sir thank you Okay, fine. Sir, I would like to add one thing. Yes, Ruchika, go ahead. Sir, actually, I would like to ask all the participants whenever they write the query in the discussion forum, please try to elaborate the query and mention exactly where you have the problem with. At times, the queries are very ambiguous and we could not able to understand. So we want the lesser number of communication threads. such that we can give them the reply as quickly as possible so please elaborate and be specific about the queries that will help us to solve your troubles just to add a point to ruchika let's say if you have a question then kindly mention which lecture it is and out of the lecture in which minute this particular topic comes in and be as much so descriptive as possible so that it will help Sir, normally minutes are mentioned, but exactly it's uh, which end of the minute, which which one minute they are finding problem. That is not uh, available. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. Only if we get that, it will be easy for us to answer the queries. Yushika, I would like to tell you, you can actually post it in a comment because we have only ten candidates here. Tell that whenever you post a query, try to be as specific as possible. Put an announcement. So today, such that subsequent queries comes, we'll have more clarity for us. to reply yes sir surely sir this an announcement so that we can reach up to more number of students yes yes okay then mm. yes so if there are no other specific queries i think uh, we can wind it up for the day after two weeks we will meet again generally we are planning for saturdays evening so that the uh, you know people who are going for work and then who are in colleges that is may be a convenient time mostly 5 to 6 time this is the timing that we look forward okay and uh, we are doing this uh, the recording of it uh, we should be updated in the uh, forum later right yes sir okay one last so, comment sir one last comment really appreciate your you and your team's efforts are really uh, unbelievable i think a lot of other mptel courses have also done other courses but nobody does like a live session and so much of patience and caring and ensuring that people are able to learn and contribute thank you so much sir i think uh, kudos to the entire team okay thank you venu sobal ji once again okay. so i request all of you to part of the subsequent live sessions also and uh, Uh, uh since you told that this kind of live sessions we want as much as because it is taxpayers money all this being running so let us try to make maximum benefit out of this kindly spread the word of good message to others also to encourage uh, to join this program and we do have vacancies in our so research group uh, for engineers uh, who have completed btech and gate score or the pemtech there are project staff openings here if at all there is anything feel free to contact me Uh, someone who look forward to have a flavor of iit work culture so there are some temporary jobs spanning from 6 months to 1 year we call it as project uh, staff to positions so in the area of uh, computer architecture and computer architecture security few openings are there 
So write it to me. What we want is either B.Tech in Computer Science or Electronics with a GATE score, or if you have an M.Tech degree, then there is GATE score is not a must. Few openings, the online interview, but you need to come to Guwahati and then be in our campus. You will get accommodation in our campus. So kindly spread it to other friends of you who are looking forward for job openings or probably a potential higher studies entry in IITs. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, okay. uh, Rich Kamal and Sham, sir. Thank you. Thank you okay, then. So with that, we'll come to the end of the hostel live session. See you after two weeks. Uh, all the best. Have a happy learning. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Also.